Hello everyone. In today's video I want to show you efficient and easy way how to extract harmala alkaloids from plant material. Please, be advised, that this video strictly for education purpose, harm reduction, and not an instruction to actions. Botanical world can give us interesting and fascinating compounds, which can be extracted from the plants. Extraction procedure sometime necessary, as many plants contains not a single compound but a variety, which consumption can lead to unpleasant or dangerous side effects. In today's video I want to show you, how we can isolate alkaloids out of Syrian rue and minimize unnecessary side effects. Syrian rue contains harmala alkaloids, which can inhibit activity of monoamine oxidase type A, what makes some compounds active orally, such as DMT. Unfortunately, beside compounds we are interested in, such as harmine, harmaline, harmalol, THH, Syrian rue contains other alkaloids, which effect not quite known and well studied, but many scientists believe that those alkaloids make raw Syrian rue consumption leads to experience of nausea, headache, and diarrhea. On the other hand, following extraction helps us to extract only good alkaloids, and left behind alkaloids which can lead to an experience of unpleasant side effects. Do not forget, that harmala alkaloid acts as REMA, reversible inhibitors of monoamine oxidase type A, and weak SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Unwise usage can lead to dangerous even fatal interaction between alkaloids and some medications, supplements, or other substances. Avoid consumption of foods high in tyramine before and after taking MAOI is not a bad idea. Everything in our life should be taken in moderation. Enough with intro, let's start. For the following procedure we will need, pressure cooker, cotton fabric, or old uncolored t-shirt, Syrian rue seeds, funnels, coffee filters, some cotton pads, distilled water, 5 to 8% vinegar or acetic acid, sodium hydroxide, iodine free table salt, 5 to 10% ammonia solution. Make a small bag out of the old t-shirt or cotton fabric, which dramatically helps you in future with filtration. Step 1, prepare 1 up to 2 liters of 5 to 8% acidic solution out of vinegar or acetic acid. In my case, unfortunately white vinegar is not available for purchase, and I prepared acidic solution out of 930 milliliters of distilled water and 70 milliliters of glacial acetic acid, what gave me 1 liter of 7% vinegar. Note, do not use hydrochloric acid, stainless steel is resistant to weak acetic acid, but not resistant at all to even dilute hydrochloric acid, which can lead to an explosion of pressure cooker. Step 2, put 100 grams of seeds into made an improvised bag, cook at maximum pressure for 2 hours. Step 3, filter out the solution through cotton pads, save seeds, and all filters pads for the second cook, decision call. Step 4. Prepare strong alkaline solution by dissolving 40 grams of sodium hydroxide in 200 milliliters of water. Be careful, use safety gear, such goggles, gloves, lab coat will not hurt as well. Strong alkaline solution can blind you almost immediately and left long curable chemical burns on your skin, so, be smart. Step 5, slowly add alkaline solution to your filtrate. You can monitor pH using pH strips or digital pH meter. We are looking for a solution with pH somewhere around 9.6 to 9.8. Note, do not left your precipitate into alkaline solution for a long time, overnight or so. Harmalas are quite stable in acidic solution, but not stable in strong alkaline solution. Step 6, filter out your precipitate. At this state you extract almost all alkaloids which plant contains, including bad ones. Step 7, after your precipitate fully dried out, prepare 5 to 8% acidic solution, dissolve all precipitate into it, add 10% by weight of table salt, if you dissolve your precipitate in 200 milliliters of acidic solution, add 20 grams of iodine free table salt, mix until everything dissolve. Step 8, let all good alkaloids slowly precipitate at room temperature for 2 up to 3 hours, and for another 2 up to 3 hours in the fridge, not in freezer. At this stage you create the solution in which all good alkaloids precipitate out as harmala hydrochloride, which insoluble in saline, very salt solution, but all bad alkaloids were left behind in solution, as they are soluble in saline. Filter out all your precipitate and dried it out. Note, if you have black light, you can easily monitor your progress of conversion, harmala alkaloids are well known with its fluorescence under UV light. Black light can produce so called soft UV, which is not harmful for eyes and skin. On the photo you can see that I dissolved only 5 mg harmalas in 7% vinegar in beaker, which glows brightly, 
and behind it bottle almost not glowing at all, which tells us that almost every harmala were turned into salt and rest on the filter paper. Step 9, after your precipitate fully dried out, bring water to boil, at this point it is not necessary to use acidic solution, as any hydrochloride salts are very soluble in water, dissolve all precipitate into it, add slowly 5 to 10 percent of ammonia, monitor solution pH, bring it to 9.6 to 9.8, filter out all precipitate and wash it with 2 to 3 percent of ammonia solution. If you do everything correct, you should obtain around 2 up to 5 percent by weight, which gives us 2 up to 5 grams as we used 100 grams of seeds, of a reasonable pure mix of good harmala alkaloids, which ready for consumption. Do not forget that you obtain so-called free base, so, if you want it to be more bioavailable for your body, you need to dissolve it in lemon, orange, or grapefruit juice or in one tablespoon of vinegar which can be diluted in one cup of water. Do not use harmalas based on somebody else's experience, find your own dosage, starting with the smallest possible, increasing with time if necessary, within small step, for example start with 30 milligrams, next should be 35 milligrams, next 40 milligrams, and so on in this manner. Do not forget harmala alkaloids are MAOI, and it is not staff to toy with, one overdose can be fatal. Do not ever do eyeball measurements of anything you plan to consume, purchase milligram scale on eBay or Amazon, it worth it. PS in step 2 I advised to save seeds, all filters and cotton pads for the second cook, and mentioned, that this is decision call. If you cook your seeds for 2 hours, you will extract almost all alkaloids, in my opinion, more than 2 runs are not worth your time and effort. But of course, it is completely up to you. From my previous extraction, first run gave me 4.01 grams, second run gave me only 0.95 grams, third run gave me 0.1 grams. If you have easy and cheap access to Syrian Rue, maybe even second run is not worth it. Be safe, be smart, your future may depend on it. Thank you and have a safe and productive day.